Okay, my friends, this is Roger Munfossing University. We're going to be talking about National Institute of Health turning discovery into health. And they're trying to figure out what to do about all of these new issues and these pandemics and uh, how to recover from these things. Well, the problem I have with the National Institute of Health is that they have done a lot of research and it's just not ever been basically shown to anybody. And as you'll see, it's kind of shocking. And I am not a doctor. I recommend nothing whatsoever. I discuss what is in these National Institute of Health reports. I am willing to discuss it with anybody. That's my email right there. So if, if uh, anybody wants to discuss, let's discuss. But I wanted to show you what is being, I believe, missed. Nobody's reading these reports, basically, is what the problem is. Okay, my wonderful, wonderful friends, Roger once again, and I follow the National Institute of Health very closely because they do a lot of research. They have very deep research. However, it never gets to anybody. Nobody ever hears about it. This is about polysaccharides from, these are mushrooms, and their antioxidant and immunological activities in vitro, which means in cell dishes. They didn't do it inside your body, but trust me, your body can break it down much better than what they can do in cell dishes. So if it has such enormous increase in, in immunological activities, which it does, in these cell dishes, and it promotes uh, splenocytes, I think they call them, which are, are the lymphocytes, which are white blood cells, which are your immune system. They promote these things. Well, listen, and this goes back six years ago, and they say, oh, there's going to be a lot of interest in this, and they're going to have a lot of work to do on it. Extraction, and therefore antioxidants were studied in this work, and it's, you know, it goes on. It's, it's, it's a real good paper. And at the very bottom, they say, yes, it has all kinds of, well, here, let's go on down to the conclusion real quick. Because the one I want to really show you is about COVID. Right? A study examines extraction of this SGP, which is the, the reactive substance, analyze the antioxidant immunological actors, activities in cell dishes, vitros, not in, in the body. Combined with single factor experiment and response surface analysis, the optimal extraction conditions, they talk about this and that. But the bottom line is the results of this study could facilitate the development of a wild resources in local regions and increase the edible medicinal value of this mushroom. In-depth research on these polysaccharides, structure, and bioactivities currently underway in our labs. Therefore, further characterization and applications in functional medicine are expected. Well, that was six years ago, and it's just totally gone now. And, and let me show you what else is gone, and this was only three or four months ago, and it relates to COVID-19. All right, National Institute of Health again. When I say nobody sees these things, nobody sees them. This goes back to 2011, and this was about probiotics and their immune health. And it goes through, I mean, it's a very long article, but the summary of it is the probiotics may provide novel approaches, which is new types of approaches for both disease prevention and treatment. And where do you hear that same phrase again, prevention and treatment? However, the results of uh, clinical studies regarding probiotic applications are preliminary and require further confirmation. This is 10 years ago. Now, watch this. This is just a couple of months ago. Remember what I was just talking about? Prevention and treatment. Well, guess what this is? Probiotics in the prevention and treatment of COVID-19. <laughs> this just goes back three or four months ago. This was, uh, well, August of 2021. I guess it was written in 19, uh, March of 2021. And this gives the same story again that it can save lives and prevent all kinds of issues. Let's go right down to the conclusion. Evidence supports probiotics' role in regulating the immune system, suggesting a definitive, which means absolutely certain, role for probiotics in viral infections, which is, this is what we ha currently have. Probiotic supplementation could reduce the severity of COVID-19 morbidity and mortality. Probiotics can inhibit cytokine storms, which is the complete attack of your body, by but instantaneously, at both times, simultaneously, it boosts your innate immune system and evading the time it takes to adapt to, to become immune. 
it's, which is always challenged because this is a new novel disease. So it takes time to respond quickly to the viral onslaught. This fills that gap in. Probiotics induce suppression of the inflammatory cytokine response may prevent both the severity and occurrence of acute respiratory distress syndromes, which everybody's dying from. That's why they need the oxygen, which makes probiotics an attractive add-on, adjunct. Inventing therapies will transform the impact of the pandemic on lives as well as economies across the globe. Therefore, supplementation of probiotics in high risk and severely ill patients, frontline health workers might limit the infection and flatten the COVID-19 curve, which is going through the roof right now. However, currently there are no random controlled trials to demonstrate the conclusive evidence. On the other hand, circumstantial evidence supports the presumption that probiotic supplementation decreases the severity of COVID-19 responses, including mortality. And may, many clinical trials are underway globally. I can't find any. I, I, maybe they are, but nobody's doing them. And nobody said not a single word is being talked about probiotics and COVID. And this is kind of upsets me. And I've been upset. And I was knocked off of YouTube for a week for making these statements before. And I probably will get knocked off again. And I got a strike. So I'm, I'm right on the edge of having my channel shut down, even for talking about what the National Institute of Health says. And this is something that has not, if you've heard any word about probiotics, I've asked all the doctors that I've confronted, not a single one of them has any clue about this. None. All right, so spread this word to everybody. Probiotics in the prevention and treatment of COVID-19. This is only a few months ago. This is our National Institute of Health. Not Roger. Not from me. I'm just telling what they're saying. And 10 years ago, they knew this, and nobody ever gets this information because it just gets through a bunch of pencil pushers, do something, and then it gets all locked away somewhere. This is my issue. We need a format, a forum, somewhere where we can talk and openly discuss these things without getting shut down. And that's what happens. I get shut down regularly on Facebook and now last couple times on YouTube. And I only got two strikes left to go. If I get one more for this, I got one left to go and then I'm done for everything. So it's just not right. They should restore that strike they took away from me. Because all I did was say, this is what National Institute of Health says, not me. And they refused to even, they just took a strike away from me and um, blocked me for a week. So if I see you around, I'll see you around. <laughs>